All right, mulching day today. My neighbor gave me a bunch of uh, old hay bales that were kind of moldy that uh, I'm gonna use to mulch the tomato plot today. Uh, he said he had a few more for me. I traded him some tomato plants and pepper plants that I had extra of, and he gave me a bunch of old hay bales. So I'm gonna mulch in between the tomatoes and stuff. They're already starting to get grass and stuff growing up between them, so. They need to be mulched right away before that grass starts to get out of control. It's good because it, uh, it uh, makes it to where I don't have to till the soil all the time, which is good for the microbiology of the soil not to be disturbing it all the time. And that way we can try to foster the growth of microbes and hopefully they'll uh, contribute some fertilizer to our soil. So I'll uh, mulch it today and let you know how it goes later on. Keep you updated. All right, getting ready to lay the mulch down for the tomatoes. And uh, whenever you go to do this, if you're using old spoiled hay, which is actually the better hay to use, because it's already started the decomposition process and won't tie up any nitrogen. It, even if you use fresh hay, it shouldn't tie up nitrogen um, as long as you don't incorporate it into the soil and just lay it on the top. But it is still better to use old hay that's already started to decompose. But when you go to do it, you want to make sure to have a dust mask. I don't know, you might check the CDC website and look up farmer's lung and uh, you'll see uh, the reason why you should always wear a dust mask. I'll show you here. You can actually see some decomposition already going on inside of it. There's some white mold or fungus of some sort. And that stuff just really isn't good to breathe in. So always wear a mask and be safe whenever you're mulching. It's an absolutely gorgeous day out today compared to yesterday. Yesterday was probably 90 degrees out most of the day, and so I called it quits a little bit early. I did get all of the uh, black drainage tubing around all the transplants yesterday and uh, laid down a bit of mulch but had to call it quit just because it was too hot out. It's about, I don't know, maybe 70 degrees out today and a nice cool breeze. We got a little shower this morning but not enough to get the soil too wet to be on so it's a perfect day and uh, hopefully I'll get a lot of the mulching done. Alright, just finished spreading all our mulch. Makes the garden look a lot better. I have the rows opened up on the tomatoes because I have some uh, basil planted in there. And I didn't mulch all the way to the end because I have marigolds planted at the end and waiting for the seed to come up. If it doesn't come up, I'll just cover it up and start some inside and transplant them in the ground. But I'll give you a walkthrough of the garden. These are all tomatoes still. The peppers, I kind of stopped planting basil, so I didn't mind covering up the center there. I've row covers over the eggplant. Scout, what are you doing? And I had my neighbor gave me some hay bales that uh, he was using as a deer blind, so I went ahead and took those and laid them out, took them apart and laid out the sheets. But yep, all mulched. Make weeding a lot easier, won't have to water as often this way, so it's good all the way around. Also prevents disease on the tomatoes because you're not getting any uh, uh, splashes from the ground when, the, when it rains or you have to water onto the tomatoes, so it keeps the plants off the ground, which is always good for disease prevention. First sign of a beneficial insect pretty early in the year. He's a little guy. Praying mantis, always good to have in the garden. He'll be big and grown up by the end of the year. Saw a lot of ladybug larvae also in the other garden, so we have a lot of beneficial insects that are starting to come around.